அப்புறம் போற மாத I started a business a restaurant in uh, the United States. I came in 1989. Not, honest, no English. I did the dishes. And working hard. I came into California for five years. For somebody else. It's the factory. No, not, not, not a restaurant business. I moved to New Jersey because my brother was here and I started working at the pizza place do the dishes prep everything and I started learning everything came here with two bananas in his pocket worked really hard that's it pretty much became a US citizen which is the reason I felt like it was important to get you guys on here ultimately right um is is because you know this is the time where we need to give our our local restaurants their you know their their attention and more importantly is is this for every individual that you know considered opening a business in their in their time and want to go ahead and do that honestly what i take away from that is is and and what it meant to me and my and, and when i started my company which was um the fact that like i had nothing to lose if i felt like you know like two bananas maybe might have been more than what i had exactly. um and so like with the fact that i had nothing to lose it was it's almost easier to make those type of moves okay um than when you have a lot to lose right you almost like when you have a lot to lose you almost get fearful and contract whereas when you have nothing to lose it's like well what the heck and you 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 know you give it all you got yeah so i think that that's important that's partially what i wanted to get at you know for a lot of people they don't want to open their business right away why right they think they need you know perfection you don't need perfection to start a company right you build block oh. by block and i think that that's important that that you know that that's really the reason i have so joe what about what about uh, uh sports you play sports did you play sports back back when do you still play have time for sports i played soccer okay okay well you're from guatemala i think that makes a lot of sense right yeah soccer is the black spanish black <laughs> <laughs> they played so, out they have um, no grass out there in Guatemala. They played outside on on dirt. <laughs> no grass out there. Don't lie. Come on, Guatemala is beautiful. Don't, Don't lie. lie. Love the place. So um so yeah, so mainly um you know look, one one of the questions I had were leading up to uh you know like where you started working and with what you're doing now. My real question is is you know like did you know you'd be doing this? Ultimately, did you know you're going to be in the pizzeria business coming in from Guatemala, you know, with the two bananas? No, just came here with two bananas and just winged it. My plan okay. was my plan was coming here for 3 years, make it money, go back to my country. But never happened. And here never happened. Years. Wow. For those people that are inspiring, you know, or like aspired to, you know, opening a business and you're watching like this this stuff is this stuff is priceless. I I do want to say though seeing my dad, you know, raise us and like working in the business, um there was a lot of times where it felt like we weren't going to make it through and he's been through a lot and there was a lot of trial and tribulation and you're going to fail the first couple times but if you really love what you do, you stick it out and it works out at the end. You just really have to love what you do, you know? You have to have love yeah. for people, you got to love the food, you got to have faith that. in let me ask you, like, when did you realize it was time for your second location? So you open up the first location, right? And, you know, like things, I guess, are going well or, you know, I don't know. Like, was, was there an opportunity that arose? Like, what, what came about? Like, was there a friend or a family member? What, like, what, how did you know you could handle more than one? And why would you want to go there? Why? Because uh, the play was already making money and the price was right and the right time. Uh, I decided to buy second one because it's a good price for the business. You don't really make money. That's how. That's what I like. Heck yeah. Okay. So so essentially, uh, you know, timing had a lot to do with it, right? Um, yeah. And I think that that you know that's going to stand true no matter what. I mean, I've asked a lot of people that question. I think timing is everything, and uh, I think that's what he's getting at is he didn't necessarily know. Maybe that it was the right time or the right moment or that it would even work out, 
right? And That's right. Um, so, um, so now you own two restaurants. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Was it a lot? Was it more than you had expected? Did it, did it just kind of work out? Like, did you have good people? Like what, what made it work for you? Oh, I have a good people to run the business. And a lot of people want to get jobs and, uh, I give opportunity to everybody, to everybody have a job. And that's why I bought a second business too. Yeah. He has a good support system. Right. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, two businesses is tricky. And honestly, I found myself in my second business just recently. So, um, and I, and I think, you know, I can only, uh, I can only relate to that in a way where it's like, you, you really didn't, ex I, I didn't expect it. I didn't know it just kind of happened. And when it happened, because I was working so hard, you know, other people recognized that and, you know, wanted to just kind of know what I knew and learn what I learned and knew that I had this, some secret sauce. Did, was there something of that nature there? Like did the people, when you came in, did, were there new people? Like, did you have to like show them that you had the secret sauce that maybe you made your pizzas the way that you knew how to make pizzas and they realized like, wow, we've been doing it wrong this whole time. Harder for the employees because um, there was a new management in town. So they right. had, to, we had to get a feel for them and they had to get a feel for my dad here. You know, okay. so there was a lot of things that we kept an eye out for. We looked to see who genuinely wanted to be here and who respected. And it, it was hard. It was, it was like their territory kind of in a way. And it was, it was, there was a new right. dog in town. You know what I mean? They've been doing it. Yeah. They've been doing it a long time. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we, so, um, so he definitely had to like, you know, take a look around. He changed a couple of things here and there. Not too much. Kept the same name. Um, it, it was hard. It was definitely a challenge, but um, we got, he, he did the best he can and he gave everyone a chance and now everyone respects each other and we move forward from that. Yep. Yeah, I can I can see that as as different, you know, like, you know, as you know, we did the, the, the changeover from your old point of sale at the sub shop to the new point of sale. And, you know, when it comes to transitions and learning something new and, you know, teaching it to an entire staff that's used to doing it a certain a certain way, uh, it can definitely be tricky. And, uh, you know, sometimes it does take putting your foot down. I don't know if you guys had to do that, but, uh, uh -huh. you know, sometimes. You know, and, and for good reason, and people respect it, I feel like, um, that, you know, like, as you said, there's a new sheriff in town, and you've got to make them understand that, you know, like, that, uh, every, so that everybody's on the same page, essentially, uh, that they must follow along, and uh, that can be difficult, so I, you know, I think that, you know, we're getting a lot of really good, good answers here, I think that's going to help anybody, really, you know, it doesn't have to be a pizzeria, you guys are going to hear from other clients of mine also, you know, I didn't want to just bring Joe on. Um, yes, and of course, yes. his, his uh, wonderful daughter, which, by the way, if you want to introduce yourself to everybody. Oh, hi, I'm Fo. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, I have so, the industry, so I'm definitely thankful that my dad, you know, has these two businesses to give me some extra hours because we're definitely shut down. But so yeah. just to wrap up here, I just wanted to kind of be a little selfish and kind of ask you about our system. Um, you've had some experience with our system over at, at the sub shop. And I want to thank Joe for putting us now into his other location. Um, but let me ask you, like, obviously you had uh, a POS system before Joe, um, you know, the one we had uh, in the sub shop. And now also you have one in Nick's Express. And uh, you, you, you told me a little story because we had a little conversation prior to this. And you told me a little story about what happened over at Nick and Joe's that about your tablet system, if you don't mind. First thing, because I want to go with you guys, uh, because I know you for a couple of years. Uh, the service is good, whether we have a sub shop. Uh, Thank the you. Support, the support is good. When we call you guys to change something, you change a lot of way. Uh, with this new system that we just got next with a uh, tablet, uh, we try to save you money, you know, and uh, we, not work out the tablet Adela company is this uh, customer service. I'm sorry, but that's not great. Yep. The server you call them, you gotta press one, two, three, four, you're not talking to nobody. Right. Uh, and uh, the tablet was a mess. Uh, you gotta punch the number then, you gotta go back, gotta get here. 
At the end of the day, we don't know how much we make in credit cards because it was a big mess. Uh, with I the other, so with the other system. Yes, with the the, the tablet like we just bought it, but before I talk, you remember? Uh, right, right. It was a big mess. And and so now you decided to go with us, which, by the way, I really appreciate that so much. It really yeah. means the world to me. To um, you guys again and uh, go with you guys. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the service you gave in the sub shop. It, it, it means the world to me. I mean, you know, like we have shaped our entire lives um, around what it is that we do, um, you know, and I, and I, and it, it really means the world to me that you would say that. And, uh, you know, look, I think it's fair that people want to save money. Right. Um, I think it's fair that, you know, like, I think it was, you know, not only that, just to kind of preface, he was trying to use the same system as what he had, just an upgrade of that system. And, yes. uh, you know, it's not that, you know, he, you hear him talk about tablet systems, and it's not that the tablets were a problem. You know, we do tablets here at CCPOS. Uh, ultimately, though, is that the stations that he has already, we're going to repurpose those stations. And then if he wants to add tablets to those already existing stations, he can do as many tablets as he wants. But the beauty of the, ta of the, the station is, is that it's plugged into the Internet. And the tablet station, on the other hand, is all done through Wi-Fi, uh, which can not be a problem or, you know, like you're really throwing it out there to risk. Uh, you know, you're, you're taking a little too much risk when you're putting in orders and they're supposed to end up in the kitchen and, you know, so on and so forth. So without elaborating, um, you know, again, I can't thank you enough, Joe. Um, let me ask you, we're before the sub shop. Okay. Let's go before the sub shop. Cause I wanted to get that out of there about Nick's express and get that guys. He was, he was talking about uh, his second location that he's doing with me. And he's doing that location as we speak. We, you know, we're in the midst of building his menu, um, setting up his online ordering at both the sub shop and uh, over at Nick's Express. Um, we're looking forward to getting his third location. Um, so with that, uh, you know, before the sub shop, because I remember that conversation, Joe, and we weren't always best friends. You know, you, you, you had to feel me out in the beginning. So I just kind of want to know a little bit about that. Uh, maybe maybe right there we could probably end it. But um you know, tell me, were you hesitant, you know, in the beginning when I was there at the sub shop? Like, you know, were you confident? Did you know that, like, I was such, you know, that I would come through for you on all fronts without a doubt? Um, like, what what made you sure or unsure? Like, I don't know if you can It's been a while, obviously. But, I, you know, I think it's important before, to preface. For you, I bought a clover, a listen, but I don't know nothing about computers. I can cook for you. I can. Do anything you want to do in the kitchen, but I don't know nothing by computer. We and know that company, one pretty intimately. This company, he got to put the menu inside the, the POS computer, right? Yep. We sell and Clover. Yes, you do. He sent them, he sent them the computer with the, the half a menu with me and the computer. And he said, you have to be in the phone with me for a couple hours to do the menu. I say, I, I don't know nothing by computer. <laughs> I can make you a chicken farm. I can make a salty farm, whatever you want, any pizza, anything, but nothing by computers. Which, by the way, he is not joking. His buffalo chicken pizza is to die for. So, but, uh, way, you know, so what he's referring to is a Clover system. Clover's generally pushed by First Data. We support and sell Clover. It's not that Clover's a bad system. Okay. I just want to, you know, kind of talk about this because I've sold uh, uh, Clover. I don't know who's going to be watching this. Um, but I think it's important to talk about this because, you know, you've got a lot of people in this industry who are recommending a point of sale system. OK, and they don't know the restaurant business. And although that might turn out well in many other business types in the restaurant business, you have to be particular with what you're providing people. So, Joe, I really appreciate everything that uh, you've done for myself and my family. Understand that uh, we're going to be there for you through this. Right. Month. Thank you very much. Joe. Thank and you. from my quarantine to yours, family, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching.